Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new new Unity tutorial. Um, first of all, I want to say sorry for not uploading video in so long. Uh, it's been very busy and because of that, I'm going to upload two videos tonight. In today's lesson, we're going to fix some minor errors that we have. Um, so I'm going to show you guys those errors. First of all, I want you guys to open the game DB script that we made and maybe some of you had a problem uh, and is that uh, we used to have this function as a start function so when this function was called in the inventory controller this start function was not called yet therefore the list was not created and therefore the length or the count of the item list was zero therefore this function here was never called so change this to awake and what awake does is just another function that the execution order is before start so we'll make sure that this will be called first and then we're going to call this so awake occurs before then start second we have our items and we kept these two initial slots for too long so I'm gonna delete those now so pretty simple just delete it so I just have the, the items we're creating through code and the next bug or glitch that I want to fix is that uh, we can drag this around right but what happens when I drag a new item on top of the other item it 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 just it it gets broken it's not working anymore so I can't I can't grab that sword anymore uh, because uh, I don't know why but we're gonna fix that so in order to fix this we have to notice what things are going wrong with our script so if you look at this carefully when I overlap you see that there is a like sudden change of item right um, even if I start, start dragging out up here and just I'm already clicking down and I'm dragging from the outside onto my item it's gonna get it so what I want to do is that only if I press the click button inside the item I am going to be able to pick it so let's fix that first so we're going to open our inventory controller and the first thing we're gonna do is add a public variable I'm just gonna make a public boolean and I'm gonna call it can drag item so here in the update here this is the problem so I want to set that boolean here as a condition so I'm going to type and can drag item so how do I know if I can drag the item if we click okay this is when we just clicked if we click on top of the selected item so how do we know that is because the selected item must be not null so if we hover over the item that means the item is not null so therefore we're hovering it and we click down here's where we want to make our boolean to become true so can drag item equals true and when does this stop being true this is stop being true when we release the mouse button so we're going to copy this and paste it down here right below this line here so this is false so this condition starts as false and if we click on top of our item it will be true so then we can drag it so let's try this first if I start my dragging outside the item and then I drag on top of it now you see we didn't click on top of the item so the can drag item condition is still false therefore we cannot drag the item but we still have one problem and the problem is that when we release the mouse button the item is going to go that place and that's because the item selected item although we didn't drag it around 
the selected item was not null because we also drag on top of it and that's our condition I mean we hover on top of that because we hover on top of the item and that's the condition we need to make that item the selected item therefore this condition is true and when we release the mouse button this will happen so to fix this is really simple just copy this from your slot controller and paste it down here and we want to change what is inside with our previous on mouse enter but this time we want to make the selected item null so if we hover over an item and then we get out of the item again the item will become null again therefore everything should be fixed so if I start my drag outside and I go over it nothing happens and if I release the mouse button nothing happens and if I click on top of my item you see we have another problem now as soon as I get out of it it's gonna stop because okay I click it I'm dragging it but now the selected item became null as soon as I got out of it on the mouse exit so we have to make one more check here and that is if transform parent dot parent dot get component dot inventory controller dot can drag item and we want to make sure that this is not true because if I can drag the item I don't need to make it know when I am pulling around however if I cannot drag the item that means I need to ignore this line over here so let's try it one more time and hopefully it will be fixed so I drag outside nothing happens I go over it nothing happens I stop that's okay now I can drag it around and put it anywhere I want I can yeah still have some issues with that so we have to fix that so that's the time I have for this video I don't want to make it too long so as I said I'm going to upload the next video right now so please make sure to give me a like and if you like these videos please remember to subscribe uh, I will try to keep uploading at least one video a week so if you can share this with your friends it will really help me a lot thank you very much and see you in the next video goodbye